Hi everybody, it's Lisa. I want to come on today and film my September Ipsy bag and review my August Ipsy, ba Ipsy bag. And before we get into it, please forgive my appearance. Uh, it's my day off today and I am in the process of cleaning my carpet. So I still have my pajamas on, uh, no makeup, just a little of the lip color that we got in our ipsy bag last month i put that on just a little bit and just wet my hair down because my hair is a mess but i don't have nothing else on like i said i am cleaning my carpet so it's no point in me putting on makeup and stuff when i'm in a process I've got a rug doctor that i run it and i'm cleaning my carpets <laughs> okay so other than that let's go ahead and we'll do the ipsy bag i did get this yesterday um the 12th of September. Today is the 13th. So why, sorry, I think my dog's outside. Well, my dog is outside. So why I am here by myself, uh, my daughter had to go to work, uh, my husband's still at work. I'm going to go ahead and film this really fast and then get back to cleaning my carpets. Um, this is our last month's bag. This is August bag. I am using this. I did really do like this bag. I put like a few things in it that I keep in my purse, like um, some powder, you know, some lip color and stuff, and a little bit of blush, and I just throw this in my purse, and this is, yeah, I'm using this, I do like this bag, this is my favorite bag so far, I like this bag, but we're not here for that, we are here to do a little review on the items that we got in that bag, now, sorry guys, did not get a chance to use the sheet mask at all. I didn't have a chance to use any kind of sheet mask or anything at all this month. It has just been crazy with work and home. Um, people calling out, doing 12-hour shifts, then you know being off 12 hours and have to go back into work at you know in 12. I mean, it's been hectic. So I, just, I haven't had time to use these, and I definitely want to. These look very nice, and I'm, you know, I got sheet mask I need to start using them more I will use these and then when I do finally get a chance to use these I'll do an update and let y'all know what I thought about these okay I'm sorry I just said work has been hectic home has been hectic I mean it's my day off right now and I'm cleaning my carpet so yeah it's been a little hectic around here but I will get these I will use them and I will let you know so let's get on to the one product that I didn't really care for, and that was the NYX uh, Liquid Illuminizer Born to Glow. I tried this one time. I probably need to give it another try. Um, I'm just not into illuminizing anything on my face. I'm sorry. When I put this on, and I did, I put it on, and I put a little bit too much on, and I had to go get my wet sponge and try to blend it out, and then I had to put some powder on it just to dye it down a little bit because it was just too bright. I didn't care for it that, and that was just the one time. So, I mean, I might have to try it again. But I'm not a big fan on any kind of highlight stuff or luminizer and stuff on my face. Because to me, it just, it highlights the imperfections that I have, like the old acne scars and stuff that I have on my face. I mean, it's bad enough I got the, the, the um, window right here, and the light's just coming through, and then the light here is just like, glaring off my face right now but to me this is something that I wouldn't use I'm probably going to wind up giving it to a friend because um, I don't use highlight stuff um, it's, I'm not a big fan of it so that was a no now for the face cleaning stuff um, I used it once it was all right I mean it's a face cleaner it was okay I will probably still continue to use it. I did find the smell kind of pleasant. Not overbearing. Didn't because it said it has a rose and a lemon smell. So it wasn't overbearing and it was supposed to be for sensitive skin. So I'm I'm gonna still try it. I'm gonna try a few more times to see how I like it. Because my skin does seem to have a little sensitivity to it these days as I've gotten older. I mean I was just scratching right here and it's got a red spot. So I mean I'm going to keep trying it. I mean, like I said, I only had a chance to use it once. And I can't really give a good, honest opinion. It was okay. Like I said, the smell is not too bad. It's not overpowering with rose and lemon. So it's, it's not bad. The lip stick 
gloss or whatever you want to call this. Not a fan of. The color is okay. If you put just a little bit, I mean, I just put some on and it started running. So this runs and I have to blot it off because it's, if it's too much, it runs. And this is what I have on and it's like very light. Color's not bad. I'll probably keep it, use it and just make sure that I blot before I go anywhere because this color, this lip soft lipstick or whatever they call this does run and I do have a lot of fine lines outside of my lips and it runs so you have to be careful with that one now the pencil I'm sorry not the pencil this was the uh, eyeliner uh, beauty for real I did like this I did use this a few times as I said before I am not a big eyeliner person but I would use this in my uh, waterline and I did like that just to, you know, give it a little extra uh on my eyes. And I put a little bit on the bottom line. And I would tight line with this. And this is smooth and creamy. And it didn't tug or nothing. So I do like this. And I will continue to use it. So I did like it. So that was my August bag. Now let's go ahead and break in to September's bag. The first thing I noticed when I opened this bag. Did anybody else? Get overwhelmed with the smell. Yes, this bag stinks. I haven't watched anybody else un unbagging their Ipsy bag, so I don't know if it's just me or it's the bag itself that smells. So, this is um, the card you get with it. Okay. Um,. I will not reuse this bag. It will probably be thrown in the trash because it does stink. I don't like it. Um, sorry, it smells terrible. I don't know what it is. I don't know if anybody else got that. I'll have to um, look at some other YouTubers and see if anybody else got that smell. All right, so first thing I'm pulling out is a I Do Liquid Eyeliner. It's, uh, I'm not going to pronounce this, E-Y-E-K-O London. It's an eyeliner. Alright, another eyeliner. They sure do send me enough eyeliners. Okay, so I think it's supposed to, oh yeah, it's a belt pen type one. Wow, that's definitely black. I will try this. I'm going to give this a try. See how it works. I, it might be even waterproof. I'm not even sure. I'll have to read more about this. Because it doesn't really say on the box. Um, do a cat eye. My daughter might like this. I think I will try it once. And then I'm probably going to hand it off to her. Because like I said, I don't really do a lot of eyelining. So she might be getting this. Because she likes, she'll use uh, eyeliners. When she does put makeup on, she'll like to put, uh, she likes to use liquid eyeliners. She's been using the Sephora liquid eyeliner. She likes that. Alright, getting off the subject here. Let's pull out something else out of this stinky bag. God, this bag stinks so bad. Oh my god. Alright, I'm pulling out a brush now uh, from Crown Brush. I think it's an angle, angle brush. Blush, brush, brush, whatever, you know. It's an angle brush. If I can get that out. Yeah, it's angle. Yeah. This probably stinks because of the bag. It's nice. It's got a nice angle. Very soft. So, yeah, I'll definitely give this a try. Like, it has to have, like, a little grip so you can hold it. Yeah, okay. I'll give this a try. I'll let y'all know next month. I'm also pulling out some kind of spray stuff. Roddale? Rodale? R O D I A L. Dial? Rodale? I don't know what this is. I don't know. Is it a smooth? It says a smoothing toner. It's a hydrating and smoothing toner. So I'm figuring it's something you put on your face before makeup eh, smells all right I'll try it 
So I'm thinking of some kind of toner or something that you use before you, um, it says Dragon's Blood Hydrating Toner. Okay, that's what it's saying. Alright, so I'll, I'll give this a try. I'll have to let y'all know how that goes. Next thing I'm pulling out, oh, this is neat. This is the Superhero It's Cosmetics Lashes Mascara. Now, I'm not going to open this yet because I'm still using a couple other mascaras. So, I don't want to open this yet. I hate that when they keep, because they gave me mascara in my uh, Sephora play box, too, and I haven't opened that. Because I have a, um, a Benefit one, I think. They're real. And I have a Smashbox X-rated mascara that I'm using. And it's just a little sample size, but I don't want to open up another one until I get those done. So, I use those. So, I have to see about opening this yet. I don't know yet. I'll have to let y'all know. I do want to try this mascara. I seen it on QVC and it had a special deal about it. I really want to try that. I might just open it up and see how it goes. All right, last thing I am pulling out is a daily facial exfoliating polish from Christine something. Kristen? Probably not saying the name right. That's why I'm holding it up for y'all. Because I don't even feel like trying to... I don't even feel like trying to pronounce it right now. I gotta get back to cleaning my carpets today. And this is sealed too. So I'll have to let y'all know about that. Okay. Um, I'm not happy, happy with this bag. It's just I'm not happy with this thing. Oh my god. This bag really, really, really stinks. Um, I mean, some of the products I don't mind like I, I really am kind of happy about trying some of the the you know the it's cosmetics uh, mascara I think I am going to open this up because I really do want to try this so I'll have to let y'all know how it, how it goes next month so I have some nice goodies in here to try and I'll have to let y'all know about this I mean when you look at it there's some in it is this clear but uh, some kind of toner I'll definitely have to let you know but I'm not uh, 100% thrilled about it. The only thing I think I really am excited about using is the mascara. I think that is the only thing that excites excite me this month. And boy, does that bag stink. Alright, so that's it, everybody. I'm going to get off here, get back to cleaning my carpets, and I'm going to try to get this up as soon as I can. Y'all have yourself a good day, and have a nice weekend. Alright, that's it for me for right now. Bye, everybody.